Howdy y'all, Caleb here. I've got a pretty spicy combo that I kind of saw today. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first one to, to realize this, but as I was scrolling through the Regiments of Renowned, I found these little guys here. The Gossamid Archers and the Arch Revenant for Sylvaneth are in a Regiment of Renown, and they pair really well with our Hunters of Huanche. Let's take a look at this, because this, this gets fun. All right, so we know our Hunters of Huanche have this ability called Starstone Bolas. And when you target a unit in the shooting phase, you get to roll a dice. On a three up, until the start of your next turn, you subtract one from the number of dice rolled for that unit when making charge rolls to a minimum of one. So you're taking one of their dice away on their charges. Fantastic ability on its own. One of the reasons we take this unit so often in our competitive lists. Absolutely fantastic. Well, this Regiment of Renown actually helps us out there. This really plays into that. Look at the, what the uh, this Regiment of Renown rule is. So this Gossamid Archers, there's five models in this unit. They have two shots each, plus one for the champion. Uh, not great profile, but you're going to do a little bit of damage, and that's all you really need to do. Um, what you do in your shooting phase, you declare, you pick the Arch Revenant in this Regiment of Renown to use this ability, then pick a visible enemy unit within 12 inches of them to be the target. Luckily, these guys are really fast. They move 12, and they shoot 12. That's, that'll be relevant here. So a 24-inch threat range uh, for a flying unit is, is great. Effect, until the start of your next turn, subtract X from charge rolls for the target, where X is the number of damage points allocated to this target this phase by the shooting attacks made by the Gossamid Archers unit in the Regiment of Renown to a maximum of six. Ho oh, what this means is, let's look at this next slide here. If you do one amount of, one, if you deal one damage with these Gossamid Archers and they were also targeted by these uh, Bolas, you're going to be reducing their charge by one dice and then also one from their roll. So they're only going to be rolling one dice. Now you're going to be subtracting one from that dice roll as well. Ooh, this gets spicy. So if you do more damage, it's going to make their charge even harder. You deal two damage, they're going to have to roll a five up on one dice to make a charge if they get right outside of three of you. If you deal three damage, they have to roll a six to even make a charge. And if you deal four or more damage with these Gossamid Archers, that unit literally cannot charge. Ha! <laughs> this is an incredible way to shut down and it, like the opponent's hammer. Let's say they have something that's really scary over on their side of the board, and you're gonna you're gonna get hit by this. You're gonna drop down your hunters, activate their bolas. You're gonna you're gonna run. You're gonna not gonna run. You're gonna get your gossamer archers up the field, shoot, do some damage. It almost doesn't even matter how much because it's going to debuff their charge so much. But if you can get four or more damage, that unit is ineffective in combat. They will not be able to charge. And the good thing is both of these unit both of these abilities will last until the start of your next turn. They're different abilities, so they're different passive abilities, so they can stack. Um, they're not the same thing. And so this is just a, a wild combination. Uh, I'm so excited to try this because this this looks awesome. Uh, take that scary unit they have. You're not allowed to charge. You want to double double turn me? Fantastic. That unit is still out of the game. But that's not all these do. Let's look at some other abilities that these two units actually pair really well with. So uh, we have on this Regiment of Ground, once per turn, your shooting phase. If the both of the units from the Regiment of Ground, the, the boss and the archers, are within combat range, so within three inches of each other, on a three up, you can remove both units from the battlefield and set them up again within each other's combat range, wholly within three of a terrain feature and more than nine inches from all enemy units. So this is a teleport. So you're getting them moved up, you're shooting, and then you can teleport them away. That is just, I mean, this is awesome. You're, you're able to strike and fade with these things and get them out. Not only that, on the war scroll for the Gossamid Archers, they have another ability that happens in the shooting phase. Effect. If this unit uses the shoot ability this phase, this unit can move D6 inches. It cannot move into combat during any part of that move. So another ability we can stack on top of these things to where we're getting more movement out of this unit. So not only can they shoot, teleport, and then 
move after that teleport. You could do it in any combination. You could shoot, move, you know, or if shoot. If you don't get that teleport, then you can still move this D6. Just so many different combinations there. This is in addition to what we have as our Shadow Strike battle formation for Seraphon, where these hunters will also get a D6 move in the shooting phase. All of a sudden, these things are coming in, they're shooting, they're debuffing you, and then they're getting out of there. Just so many uh, awesome little combinations that these two units can do together uh, to, to help control the board, to help debuff the enemy units. I really like this. All put together, here's, here's all these abilities that, that, that we're going to be using for this combination. Uh, deployment phase, we're putting our hunters up in, in reserve. In our movement phase, we're bringing them down as an ambush here. We're able to shoot the bolas to give them minus one dice. The Gossamond archers are going to be shooting and reducing their charge by even more. Then they can teleport if they want to, or if you roll it and you want to. And they can move if they want to. Also, the Skinks will get their D6 move as well. A lot of stuff going on, and all of a sudden we're starting to see some really interesting abilities. Um, the only ones that can really be, that you would really want to change um, when they would happen would probably be the shoot and move for these two units, for the Hunters of Huanche. You can do that movement before you do the shooting if you want to. It's not reliant on shooting. The Gossamans is re reliant on them actually activating it, some shooting. So... Uh, very interesting stuff. Let's let's see quickly what it looks like on the table. This is just an example we have here. I don't actually have Gossamer Archers yet. <laughs> After thinking about this all day today, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be added to the cart here pretty soon. So let's let's pretend these prosecutors are my Gossamer Archers, and you can see the hero. Well, we'll to pretend he's a hero. Lined up here on the line. This is just an example battle plan. And here we have a enemy unit that we don't want getting into us in the opponent's turn. For example, some Paladors. Extremely fast, extremely hard hitting. Let's see if we can take all of those abilities away from that unit. So, our Gossamer Archers are here. Uh, what we're going to want to do is get them into shooting range of these Paladors. Pretty easy when we're separated by 18 inches. And these uh, Archers have a 24 inch threat range. So... In our turn, we'll drop down our chameleons, or not chameleons, they used to be chameleon skinks, hunters of Fuanche, here, nine inches away from these Palidors, and we can move up our Gossamer archers right behind them. Uh, they do fly, they do have pretty, uh, they have two inch cohesion, so they can be a huge unit. Uh, but they could be in front of them here if, if you needed to. Um, don't have to be, but they can. So we drop down our hunters of Fuanche, we target these Palidors with all of these abilities. Now these Paladors are not going to be able to charge, okay? Let's say we did four damage to them. We didn't kill one, but that's fine. Uh, we didn't need to. We reduced their charge by one dice and then by another four on the dice roll, which means they will not be able to make a three-inch charge. After that, we teleport away our, our Gossamer Archers to a terrain piece. Let's say this terrain piece, and they can hold this objective now. You could do another terrain piece. You could do something like this, and then you could move D6. You could do this one over here, and then move D6. You have lots of different options here. Generally, placed on how these table maps, uh, the t terrain maps are, are, are laid out, you're going to have some options to, to teleport them to. If nothing else, maybe you don't want to be aggressive with them. Maybe you've only debuffed one unit. Bring them back to your side of the board. That way, on the next turn, you'll be able to do this again. These, these hunters, you have lots of options here. You know, you can always bring them down other places. You don't have to bring them down just like right in front of them if you don't want to. You just bring them down within 10 of those so, Palador so you can shoot. One option, though, is now that you've shot, now that you want to move with Shadow Strike, you could, you probably wouldn't do this with both of them, but you could. You could move them forward. Let's say you move them forward six inches. You, you, get, you, you spike that roll there. This unit of Paladors can't do anything in their turn. They can't move forward because they're already three inches away. They're going to spend their entire time running this unit around objectives, trying to get away from this because they literally cannot charge this unit of Skinks that popped down in front of them three inches away. <laughs> oh, what an incredible pinning combination these things are. So this is pretty exciting. Let me know if I've missed something here because I, I can't find anything that... that 
that would argue against this. Uh, because there are two different abilities, two different units, it all seems like it stacks well together. So uh, it does require some dice rolls. I mean, you're looking for your three up from the from the Chameleon Skinks. You do have, you know, in this in this setup, you do have two different rolls for that. So you have a pretty good chance of getting it. Uh, you do have to do a little bit of damage from the Gossamer. It's not going to be a ton of damage. These things don't do a ton of damage, but you don't need that much. You just need a little bit. What does a list look like? Here's just a sample list I threw together pretty quickly in, in list bot. And we've got 1980 points. It is three drops once you get this regiment in round. That's fine. You don't mind going first. In fact, you'd probably prefer to go first. So you can go hit their their hammer. So we've got the regiment of renown, Elfwinds Thorns. That's that's a tongue twister for me to say. That's why I haven't said it all video yet. Uh, that's the Gossamer Archers and the Hero. Then for the rest of our our army, we have the Slan Star Master as our general. We have six Agrodon Lancers there as one of our hammers. Two units of Hunter Swanche, some Source Guard to help guard the Slan, a Skink Star Seer with Beastmaster to make my Agrodons go faster. Total familiar on Skink Star Seer, so I can I can guarantee either run and charge or his shut off the ward spell, which depending on which one I need for this matchup. Some wrapped it on chargers to take advantage of all that they're good at, and then still a six block of Croxagore War Spawn. So even though this list, you know, we're paying 260 points for this regiment around, it doesn't seem that expensive when I'm looking at the list building. For what they do, they offer me uh, speed, teleports, a big screen, and they can help me debuff the opponent. And I'm still able to get in six Agrodons, six Croxagore, two Hunters of Wanche, some Raptodons to score the board for me, and my two casters that I need. So uh, I like it. It seems good. I told myself I was going to stop bringing goofy stuff after I, I just went one and two. And then I came across this. And all of a sudden, I like a Regiment of Renown. Uh, let me know if this is something that will not work. Or if you think this is a good idea, am I on to something? Are you about to buy some Gossamer Archers too? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you all next time.